Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for Pisces. How are you guys? Hope you're all well. Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? Clear messages and guidance for Pisces. Pisces, what is going on with you? New love prospects or connections? There you go, woman holding a coin. Oh, man holding a coin and blossoming abundance. And I also see the door to romance. Yeah, some of you may meet someone new here. So I do see a little romance, maybe a little whining and dining, but someone has their heart in a cage. Okay, so they're protecting their heart, but there is this opportunity, okay, for romance. So there is something blossoming. It has to do with this abundance. So it could be someone financially stable, okay, man holding a coin Ooh, I see you there I see you there with your heart <laughs> yeah kind of holding back a little bit though yeah protecting your heart a little Pisces see what's going on with you what does Pisces need to know about this overall energy what does Pisces need to know about the overall energy there we go yeah kind of holding back protecting yourself a little bit yeah so you're focused on money saving money okay yeah so some of you are more focused on money career saving money than you are with love but you are there you are uh, ready for love emotionally available and mature uh, but i do see that energy of being very sensible okay very practical very grounded I like you don't have any immediate plans but i gotta tell you we got the king and queen of pentacles here Pisces, King and Queen of Pentacles. Let's see what comes up. Yeah, it's about reciprocity, balance, just right. It's about someone coming in right. So some of you don't see a future with someone. They're not reciprocating. Maybe a little selfish or they're holding back. Okay, so you're in that energy. You're just focused on your own thing. Okay, single mode. Definitely marriage material, but you want someone who reaches out. You want reciprocity. If someone doesn't, then they're not coming in right. So it's about justice and balance, being fair, being treated right. Yeah, look at that. It's an energy of the magician manifesting. I do see a Libra energy. I also see a Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's just energy. It doesn't have to be any particular signs. Yeah, you have an emperor here, someone who knows exactly what they want going for, someone very focused on their finances here. So someone who's manifesting, they have all the tools they need. Okay, it could be a Taurus or an Aries energy, uh, really anyone, but it's definitely someone who's focused on that money. Okay, <laughs> very slow moving. Yeah, this so is someone planning for success. I do feel this is someone sincere. Okay, and I but I do feel they're very slow. Yeah, they focus a lot on work. Everything's about work. All work, no play. Yeah, it's a little mirroring energy though. You got that. Yeah, you, if someone doesn't reciprocate, you're kind of like, no, thanks. I'll just look out for myself, save my money. I'll protect myself here. Yeah, so I do see you kind of holding back a little. Yeah, it could be this person too, like I say, kind of holding back. But there's this choice, and it has to do with someone putting in effort, putting in work. Uh, this is two people building each other up here. This is two people who work together to build something. So there is something blossoming. Uh, it's at the early stages. I see some kind of uh, romance, like I said, whining and dining. But there's that protecting the heart, okay? Yeah, and I do see that energy of change, right? It came out when I spoke, so I'm putting it there. So it's about change. Uh, just letting things evolve, see what happens. I feel like you are, but I do feel like you're changing something, okay? This is not putting your yourself out there. You're not giving to anyone who doesn't reciprocate. If they don't reach out and they don't reciprocate, you're just doing you. Okay, Pisces? <laughs> nice energy. So tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Yeah, so there's a little contemplating energy here. Yeah, it's about teamwork, cooperation, and compromise. It's about compatibility, going down that path. Got a person doing a little soul searching. Now, this could very well be yourself, you know, about finding someone compatible, a team player. 
you know it's an energy of whether you have something in common if you don't have something in common with someone i feel like you're just not really interested in reciprocating okay yeah but i do think you have a person here who's seeing that uh, queen of pentacles marriage material that they're looking for that uh, compatibility cooperation there's a need to compromise yeah see this is two people kind of holding back stuck refusing to budge no longer reciprocating here yeah but it just could be a way of thinking too yeah so there is definitely a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning so i do feel like i feel this is energy of that that stuck energy is done that holding back i do see things going in your favor i do see two people talking reciprocating getting on the same page nice that's a nice shift tell me about the woman holding a heart This is someone here, definitely, yeah. So you're looking at all your feelings and emotions here. Your person may have cancer in their chart, but I see that energy of, of staying in control of your emotions, not letting your emotions control you. You see that? Yeah, you're holding back your feelings here. You want to make sure someone reciprocates. You want to make sure you're on the same page, that you both want the same thing, that you have things in common. So it's looking at the possibility. I see a little fantasizing, but I also see a decision. It's a decision to move forward. It's about staying on course, okay, to do with justice and balance. So it's about whether or not you're right for each other. It has to do with marriage and commitment here. So tell me about justice. Why is justice here? Yeah. Oh yeah, little Aries, Leo, sad. Just an energy of knowing what you want and not settling. So you're ready to put something behind here. Someone who's not right. Some of you are. You're going to let someone go. Because I do feel like you got someone who's kind of stubborn and selfish, refuses to budge. Uh, but it puts you into protective mode because you start to look at that energy, all those feelings. So I feel as though you're just staying on course here. You're keeping your options open. Okay, but I do feel like there is a connection here. This could be a friendship too, you know. You have a friendship with someone here, you know, starting to see the possibilities of... Uh, this actually going somewhere we shall see we have the magician yeah this is how someone conducts themselves someone is manifesting here this is someone who kind of likes to have everything their way maybe even their way or the highway but you won't settle this is where you put your foot down pisces you tell somebody what you want what you don't want uh, i do see this energy of putting something behind uh, moving forward towards another person yeah you want it's about how someone conducts themselves how they behave it's the habits whether you're on the same page you like the same thing similar lifestyle tell me about this emperor there we are so we have the lover's energy yeah some of you got a choice here you're making a choice but i think it's this emperor i think this emperor is about to make a decision in love see a little gemini a little taurus but it's an energy of manifesting. So we have Mercury retrograde right now too. So keep that in mind. Don't watch out for contracts, negotiations, agreements uh, during Mercury retrograde. Okay. Make sure you're actually on the same page. So just keep an eye on that energy. Wow. Tell me about the man holding a coin. Yeah. So this is energy of the Queen of Swords. This is about the truth, seeing the truth in a situation, speaking up, being very discerning. Uh, this is interesting because I am seeing uh, Queen of Cups, Queen of Rods, and Queen of Swords energy. So that's three queens here. Four queens, all four queens. Yeah, you're learning some lessons here, Pisces. You're learning. Okay, it's about how people conduct themselves, how they behave. It's about manifesting. So you're mastering all the elements. You're learning. Okay, you're becoming very discerning and very wise. You know what you want. You're not settling. I can see that you'd rather just stay at that Queen of Pentacles. But I, I see you as very gracious and very kind. If, uh, I feel as though there's an energy here where someone is kind of, don't let someone keep you stuck and keep you in single mode either. If you're seeing someone, because I do feel like it's a bit of an emotional roller coaster and I think you're going to end it. Um, okay, and to move towards another connection. I do see a connection between two people. So, 
Yeah, tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? There we go, yeah. It's about emotional fulfillment and happiness. So you, you really want someone sincere, but I do feel it's an energy of just taking things slow. That's your energy as well, taking things slow, making sure someone is sincere. It's about your future. It's about keeping your eye on the prize, knowing what you want. Uh, lovely energy. You're being, you're questioning things here, you know, you're questioning you want someone stable, reliable, someone on the same path, similar lifestyle. You want someone who will cooperate. You're speaking your truth, teaching someone how you want to be treated. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice, yeah. So you have someone who's heading towards you. It's a courting card. I see a little romance. I see some of you ending something with one person. It's done. I think it's finished. It's the person who's moving too slow, keeping you stuck. If you have a person who kind of holds on to you but never really takes it to the next level, that's likely someone you're going to be uh, cutting out or you're just thinking about all this energy, okay? I do see you ready. I see you ready for love, but not really. It's, it's not where all your focus is right now. It's sort of like there when you're working, okay? It's in your head when you're working. <laughs> Uh, but I like this energy of the Eight of Pentacles. Something is finished. You're no longer putting any work into someone. You're not putting any effort. Um, yeah, so I do feel like there's a choice and a decision. Something is blocked. you got a person wanting to date you. I do feel they have a little Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in their chart. I'm guessing Taurus, uh, possibly maybe a little Gemini. Yeah, see, it's about investing. It's about waiting patiently for someone to invest. If someone doesn't invest, they don't put effort. You're not being patient. So basically, you're just going to keep your options open until that right person comes. I, I see a lot of next, talk to the hand kind of energy, okay? Yeah, but I do feel like you have this person, this courting person here. It's possible they're ending something too. Very possible. Tell me about this blossoming abundance. Whoops, there we go. Oh yeah, there's that uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Someone who's thinking about all this abundance, you see, they're becoming very clear. It has to do with their intentions, uh, to do with investing. It has to do with that bond, that connection, that physical connection. Some of you are ending something as someone who's not investing. You're tired of being patient, okay? You're no longer invested. You have another person here. They do look like somebody quite smart, intelligent. I see this communication. Two people communicating very clearly. This is I like this energy of the abundance. Wow. See what this door to romance is. This person is protecting their heart too, though. Yeah, see, it's two people reciprocating here. Just a little bit at a time, a little back and forth communication. This is someone's strategy, okay? Uh, tell me more about this king of swords intentions yeah so there's some kind of change this person's uh, definitely someone who is going through some sort of change i think it's someone who's changing the way they see you the way they think about you okay and i do think it's because you're teaching someone how you want to be treated you're not reciprocating you're not responding you're not reaching out um <laughs> Yeah, this is about your future. This is about the bigger picture, you see. You're very wise. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is this here? Yeah, somebody who's single. It's a single person coming in. Just be careful of anyone who tries to keep you single. They only come in when they want a little romance or attention. Just watch it a little. Yeah, so it's about two people coming together, looking out for each other's best interests. So I, I actually feel you've got a person who, I do think you're going to end something with a person. I don't know if it's someone you work with or it's just where you're no, no longer putting any more effort into someone. You're looking out for you. Uh, and I do think you've got a person in their head here uh, thinking about investing. Yeah, see, there's that energy of walking away. <laughs> you're only going to wait and be patient for so long. Some of you may have lost your patience with someone. Yeah, you're taking those lessons, the things you learned, your knowledge, you're moving on. But you're teaching someone how you want to be treated at the same time. 
So when someone is thinking about coming towards you, uh, reaching out, hoping you're going to reciprocate. Oh, yeah. This is a, a date. You may have a couple of dates with someone here. Just watch anyone who's wishy-washy. Make sure, you know, don't be afraid to speak up and express yourself. Uh, but we have that Queen of Pentacles, so it's about being gracious, being kind, uh, taking the time to, you know, let someone, uh, making them feel comfortable enough. If you have someone who doesn't make you feel comfortable, okay, where you feel like you need to protect yourself around them, just watch that person. That's what I feel like you're ending, okay? Someone who's stuck, stubborn, keeps you single, or they're just where you don't feel comfortable, where you feel like when you're around them, you have to uh, kind of protect yourself, Okay yeah so yeah you're going for something new you have an opportunity coming your way it's going to create that change that you want but i don't think you're going to put all your eggs in one basket here i i think you're going to keep your options open because uh, you are the one that's in control you're not letting your emotions control you no 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 i see that energy you know what you want here uh, i see you dating quite a few people I do see two or three dates with someone, some romance here, but I feel as if they don't want to introduce you to friends and family, you'll stop talking to them too. But I do see this change. I do see this person coming around and they're thinking about this change, uh, how you're conducting yourself. Because I feel if you have a few dates with someone and, you know, they don't want to take you out in public or they don't want to... Yeah, you know, they could be somebody who kind of wants to go Dutch. Like, who knows? They could be selfish. Whatever the situation, it'll be different. That's the person you're not responding to. You're going to go towards this new person. But I do still think you're not going to put all your eggs in one basket. I really don't. I feel as though you're going to just kind of go with the flow and see what happens here. Yeah, you want someone who puts in the effort. So I do feel like you're very focused on your work. You work a lot, possibly. You want someone who puts in the effort. They don't, then you're not dealing with it. There you go. Aries, Leo, Sag. Possible Scorpio energy right there. Someone who knows what they want. They're not afraid of the work. That's what you want. Okay. You got a person in their head about you. And I do feel like you've had a few dates where you're going to. Uh, I do feel like if you've been dating a few people, you're definitely ending someone who's not putting any effort. You're finished. You're walking away. You're not emotionally fulfilled. Okay, they're not investing. So you're taking your knowledge and your wisdom. But, you know, this is the energy where you teach someone how you want to be treated. I'm surprised the Empress energy hasn't come out. Yeah, you got someone here who's mature, taming the beast within themselves, okay? Taming, uh, be in control of their passions and emotions, ready to come in and put in some effort. So that's what's heading your way. It looks like a little Leo energy with this person. Yeah, you're taming the beast here. You're teaching someone how you want to be treated. That's the way to go. But with the Empress energy, there is definitely an Empress energy here because I'm seeing all four queens. Okay, so this is where you're learning. You're mastering the elements here. You're teaching someone how you want to be treated. You're also very good at making people feel comfortable. But make sure you, know, you don't feel comfortable with someone. You know, don't if you if you feel like someone's holding on to you, keeping you stuck, don't be afraid to take another option. Okay, you're single until there's a ring on it kind of energy that's what I feel like your mindset is yeah you're just kind of doing your thing here but I do yeah so I do see a little Aries energy uh, you're leaving something behind you're ready to take a leap of faith but you're very wise about taking risks yeah look at that you want to you definitely want a happy home happy life you want to build a foundation with someone i think you've got a person who is definitely thinking about it here uh, i do think you're very much on this person's mind uh, they see the abundance they see the possibilities of being with you that this could actually go somewhere so wow let's pull out some charms and see where it goes so, oh, there we have that pink pelican, pelican, or no, pink flamingo, pardon me. I see a king, a crown. Okay, interesting. I see an arrow with a heart. There's that ring I was talking about, marriage and commitment. See, someone here is definitely thinking about it. There's that step forward with that high heel. Okay, that's that step forward is what the way I see it. But I definitely, I like the ring. Uh, there's that key. There's the key right there to this heart down there. 
The key is speaking your truth and being discerning and being very wise. Okay. You have an emperor here. This is somebody who knows what they want. They're not afraid to go after it. But if you have a person who wants everything their way, you're going to teach them how you want to be treated because that's how you're becoming the empress. You're going to take the risk, uh, speak your truth, and you're going to move off in another direction. And I see a reason to celebrate. I do. I see you focus on your house and your home. It's an energy of just, like I said, it's kind of like while you're waiting, right? While you're going through this energy, seeking out other options. You want a relationship. If someone doesn't want to take, uh, a, you know, a leap of faith and, and at least make a commitment to stay on course, then what is the point, right? It's an energy of someone who keeps you stuck in limbo. But I do see some kind of a commitment coming your way here. And I see that ring. Yeah, if there's no ring on it, no commitment. <laughs> You're making me laugh, Pisces. Let's pull out some charms here. <laughs> I see a J, a K, an L, and a Y. I see an E, a B, and a V. There's that V for victory. First and last initials where you'll meet people involved. Okay. I do see going somewhere, getting an invitation. Somebody is coming in. They want to build something with you. And they're very hardworking, very determined. Could be a business owner. So someone taming the beast. I think it's this emperor. You're taming the emperor. Okay. You're taming the beast. The empress tames the beast within the emperor by teaching them how you want to be treated. Okay, but being very gracious and very kind, also loving, nurturing, nurturing, kind and compassionate, but definitely you're no pushover. You see, that's your energy right now. You've got this, okay? You've got this handled. Beautiful. So, yeah, you may have to date a few people here till you find this, you connect with this person or you already have, and uh, they're kind of keeping you stuck here. You know, they're trying to stay in control. Try not to invest emotionally. So this is where you kind of go, yeah, whatever. Okay, I'm looking back at all this hard work. This person's not treating you right. So uh, there's this energy of justice. Some of you are making a decision. There's someone who's just not right for you. Okay, and this is where you're going to take that step forward. But I think it's the emperor realizing that you're just right. <laughs> you're going to get your justice here. Yeah. Grab a couple of these outcome cards and we'll wrap it up Pisces so where is this headed once you tame the beast yeah so door to healing so it's about clearing the air clearing things up it could be a healing as well but it's about that opportunity for happiness up see that door that's open there's that rainbow out there so there's two cards here with um, healing and happiness opportunities and peace so it could be an energy of someone who needs to make peace with their past before they move forward towards you. This is an energy of someone who's going through that learning. Yeah. You will end things and walk away. Some of you definitely are, or somebody else has to. Whatever the situation. Yeah, it almost looks like the person who's coming towards you needs to let go. They need to heal the situation. You could have this person, it could be someone coming around making peace, but I feel like it's someone making peace with the past, okay? Or they're just leaving the past in the past, they're going through this transition. So, could be a, a, any scenario, but I see very positive energy. Stay in that energy that you're in, just keep those options open, keep dating. Uh, yeah, as soon as I said that, out came the man holding a heart, you see? Uh, it's a king of cups kind of energy uh, someone emotionally available and mature you're going to connect with this person they definitely have heavy water they actually may be a water sign with heavy earth and fire placements either or but i do see an emperor this emperor and i do see the uh, hierophant tradition is someone very logical they're not necessarily the most emotional but you see with that magician energy there's a bit of mirroring you may have two people who are similar they kind of mirror each other yeah, and that could be something that you're learning and, you know, you're figuring out here. So just be very wise. Okay, take your time and have fun. Take care. Bye for now.